let's start up right here uh, from the same place we were at at the last lesson because we're talking about processing pointers. We've, we've pretty much um, <laughs> worn out the fact that there are two types of pointer. The, the input processing pointer, which happens when you press escape, escape, and it starts here and runs down the table, the input processing pointer. And then there are trigger processing pointers that only happen when you hit a trigger, in this case, a when leaving field trigger. This when leaving field trigger starts where you tell it to. It does not move or affect the input processing pointer at all, and it runs itself until it hits either a screen command or, we know, an end command. Let's get rid of this superfluous bunch of junk because it will never be done. Okay, now this is pretty neat code. What we want to do is we've used it to, ins to ensure that the customer code is filled. Um, remember before we were doing that in input processing, we deleted it from here. Here we're ensuring that field 20, which is the custom type field, we're ensuring that that's filled. Let's get rid of that too. We might as well check that at, at input, you know, at the time we're in the fields on the screen. No reason to wait till they press escape, escape to fill a crucial field. So I want to copy this code, essentially. Let me copy this code to here. I'm going to use those block functions again that I used before. The way you do that is you, I'm pressing F8 to get to the block functions. I'm going to use copy, and I'm going to say that I want to copy from field, from, excuse me, from line 10 to line 11. I want to copy all the code between those two lines. And I want to, where do I want to copy it to? Well, I want to copy it to the end of the processing table. And it actually says at the bottom, um, block letter, line number, or end. I can type it to the word end. So I'm going to type the word end, E-N-D, which means I want to copy those two lines to the end of the processing table. Now, because I've copied them, which was really nice and quick, I'm going to change them. And I'm going to say, at when leaving field 20, is 20 equal to null? And if it is, put them back in field 20. Okay? That's just a quick, you know, I, I made it appear very long, but to do all that process would only take maybe five seconds as opposed to literally typing in all this code again, that, 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 uh, all the way down to here. Copying, sometimes copying 50 lines of code and making three or four changes to it gives you a, a whole completely different uh, trigger routine or a whole completely different subroutine. Very useful. I won't show you, but I'm gonna. Well, I will we'll show you. Let's let's just do this. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to a screen that um, I'm gonna press update on it, and I'm gonna leave this field which is filled. Now I'm here, and I'm gonna try and go to the next field. And of course, it's the same kind of processing. It's constantly putting me back in that field until I put something in it. Until I let me put an X in it. I put an X in it. Well. It binged, something binged, and, down, and, and I have a, a message. And the message says, edit fill. I'm not allowed to put an exit. That's file pro. That's clerk helping us put the right code in. That has nothing to do with us. We just said that this edit type for this field has to be either a D or a C. Remember, we called it C type. Okay, so file pro is helping us and say, well, you can't do that. You know, so let's make a space. Let's space over the X. I'm spacing over the X. Bang, I'm back in this field. Because the space fills the field and tries to take me over to discount. So bang, I've cleared the field and I'm, you know, I can't put a space. I have to put a D or C. Let's put a D. Now I can go to the next field. Okay, is everything a little clunky door? Yes. Okay, so now we have two sets of code. Oh darn, I jumped out of here. Sorry, let me put this back. Um, okay, let me go back into the processing table and uh, let's look at this a little bit closer. Now I have two when leaving field triggers. I have one that happens um, when they leave field 19, and it ends, puts them in the screen if it's blank, or it just ends, does nothing. This is just two lines of this trigger processing, and there are two lines in this trigger processing. In no case have I pressed escape, escape, and run the input processing. Very important to realize what we're doing here so we can move on and get to new things. Some trigger processing that we might do is, and I'm going to tell you what, I think we've, we've covered enough. The fact that we've done the block functions and tried to do this lesson is enough, and I'm going to move on to the next lesson.